So when you're sending emails out to your subscribers, you really want to have a consistent um, look and feel to your emails and also make it as simple as possible for you when you're actually creating the content um, to do that in a consistent way. So the best way to do that is using um, email templates that you can save inside your kit account. So let's start by going into send and then email templates. When you're in here, you'll see the default templates that exist in your account. If you want to create a new one, click on this button here, click new email template. And then that pops up with a whole bunch of templates that you can use as a starting point for creating the template you want to use in your business. Um, so let's look at this one, for example, I quite like this one platform. It's one that I use. I click on that and what it does is it loads the, the template into your editor here. Now, when you're editing inside this, you're only editing, obviously, your copy of this template. Um, and you're going to save that um, into your kit account. So I'm going to change this to the name of this to, let's say, um, let's say the newsletter, um, weekly newsletter, I'm going to call it. So let's say I wanted to send out a weekly newsletter from me. Um, at the top here, it's got the kit logo. I'm going to replace that and put in an image, let's say this one here. For, for my business. Once you put that in there, you can change the size of it if you want. Um, you can add in text around it if you want to do that kind of thing. In the actual body of the email, um, I'm going to get rid of that and get rid of that. And I'm going to make that hex left aligned. So I'm going to move it over there. And then the first thing I'm going to do is, um, I always like to start my email with a, a salutation or a greeting that is personalized. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to say personalized greeting um, and what this is doing in here is basically if I, if I change that to hi it's going to pull through the subscribers first name if I've captured it if I haven't captured the first name it will just default to saying hi there okay so that's how it works I'm going to go to this button because I don't need that and then I'll give it a couple of carriage returns and then a signature at the bottom I just like to have a cheers John and then it means that every time I use this um, template, all I'm doing is typing in the content for that newsletter in between the salutation and the sign off. Um, now the other thing I actually do in my emails, uh, my email templates, is I use something called um, snippets. Now if you're not familiar with snippets, essentially they are um, little pieces of content that you can create once and then reuse lots of times in, in your emails. So I'm going to click on plus and then I'm going to add in a snippet. You can see here a snippet is a reusable content. And then you can see this one I've got set up as email signature. So um, that email signature is consistent across the, the emails. Um, and when I embed it inside that um, template, it means it's going to be available every time I create a, a, a newsletter edition. So there's lots of things I could do. I can add in lots of other items if I want to, all these listed here. Um, I can make it look as um, as detailed and as fancy as I want. Um, but essentially, that's the crux of creating a template. And now, now that it's saved, it's got this auto save feature at the top, you can see it's already saved. I'm now going to go back to send and templates. And now you'll see uh, that this one here that we've created called weekly newsletter exists, okay? So the action of creating an email template and the action of creating emails are two separate things. Email template, you create it once and then you can use it many, many times. Um, some people get confused about email templates um, and they start creating content inside them, which you, you don't want to do. So now that we create the template, the next thing we're going to do is typically is create an email. So if I get into send and then broadcast, I'm going to create a new broadcast email. And now I'm going to choose the, the template I want to use for that. Now you can see in here, weekly newsletter is one just created. So I'm going to click on that. And then that loads up the editor with that um, template that I can now start to create my newsletter. Um, so it's as simple as that to do. Once you're in there, you can then start to add in all the content you want. Um, but essentially you've got that template to get you get you off and, and running quickly because it's got the, the, the you know the start and the end of the email the look and feel the design of it 
and all you're doing is focusing on entering the content. So that's how to use email templates. Um, uh, in my business, I use different templates for different um, content. So I'll have a template for my weekly newsletter, a template for, let's say, um, some of my evergreen content, an email template for, um, you know, my customer emails. Uh, so you can have many, many email templates uh, if you want inside your system that you can just call upon every time you go to create um, a, a, an email. So hopefully that makes sense. Hope it was helpful and I will see you on the next video. Cheers.